One thing I learned early in my freelance career is that making good money as a developer has less to do with skill and everything to do with choosing the right niche. A lot of developers just grind away improving their React skills or learning the latest and greatest framework, thinking that's the path to better pay. But the developers making six figures working 20 hours a week, they're not necessarily better programmers, they just chose a more lucrative ecosystem. The inspiration for today's video comes from a follower of mine who ended up building a much bigger following than me, Andrew. Codesmith. To quote his video, he starts by stating something he wished he knew earlier. The key thing that will decide how much money you make as a programmer is the sector you work in. He then goes on to say, quote, when I started, I just knew front end and I wanted to freelance and I just found I couldn't really offer value to a company because I just knew a bit of JavaScript and React. And then I found as soon as I learned things like Shopify or WordPress, you can just go to a small business and say, I can make this for you rather than, you know, just being able to make a UI end quote. What he's talking about here are sectors and platforms, which I'll simply refer to here collectively as niches. Anyone that studied online business knows the importance of niche, but it's often lost on us as developers because we're in this business to just, you know, develop. He goes on to talk about the Coinbase developer platform as an example, but even though you could say that finance is of course a lucrative niche, how many businesses are out there actively looking for Coinbase developers? I decided to search Upwork and LinkedIn to see how many people I could find looking for Coinbase developers, and I couldn't really find anything. Which I think makes sense. I mean, how many of you have actually heard of someone developing an app on Coinbase? Whereas how many of you know someone with a Shopify store? Now, of course I'm biased here, but if there's a better niche than Shopify for freelance front end developers, I'm keen to hear it. If you recall the previous quote from Andrew, he mentions another one, WordPress, which I think is also a legit option. Obviously, based on the pure number of sites using it, WordPress is a much bigger platform. But what I like about Shopify is that it represents both a platform and a sector. The sector, of course, being e-commerce. I'll be honest with you guys, I used to focus on WordPress myself back in the day, but I just hated the developer experience, which is very different to Shopify. For those of you who haven't developed on Shopify before, they are heavily invested in not only providing a good experience for merchants, but also for developers. And their platform elegantly blends the two worlds so that there's a robust system for developers to develop on and a solid user interface for admins to manage their store. It's built so that one side complements and rarely messes up the other. Perhaps a lot of this can be credited to the fact that the original developer who founded Shopify is still working in the company as the CEO, but I digress here. What makes Shopify a great niche in my opinion is that e-commerce is a lucrative sector and what platform powers about 10% of all e-commerce stores? Shopify. Out of all the biggest website platforms, Shopify stands alone as the specialist in e-commerce. And if we do that same search that we did before for Coinbase with Shopify, looking for Shopify developer roles on Upwork and LinkedIn, we start to see that Shopify development is a much more in-demand skill. This is why I personally specialize in Shopify development till this day and why I teach Shopify development on this channel and on my website, shopifythemedeveloper.com. As always, if you wanna learn more about it, check out the first link in the description of this video. But to get back to general principles here, with so many frameworks, languages, and technologies relating to web development, it's kinda of hard to know everything. And I found that as a generalist front-end developer, I really struggled to stand out. But building expertise in a particular niche, I was able to more uniquely position myself as the go-to solution for businesses within that niche. So what I would say to summarize this point is make sure you choose a niche that's in demand when it comes to needing developers. And if you wanna make the most money, make sure you're targeting clients in that niche that are making lots of money themselves. Personally, after more than six years now as a Shopify developer, I'm honestly getting a little bored of Shopify and looking for other possible lucrative platforms to dip my toes into. But this Coinbase developer platform idea, maybe it's a little too niche or a little too early. So I'll throw it to you guys if you have any ideas. What other platforms in web development are ripe for freelance web developers? Let me know in the comments. And if you can't think of anything besides Shopify, maybe check out the first link in the description where I talk more about why Shopify is still my platform of choice even after six years. Happy coding and I'll catch you guys in the next one.